All right. Can everybody hear me? I think everything's good to go here. So uh, just making sure that the sound is good to go. And I think we're ready. And yeah. All right. So just making sure everyone comes in and we'll talk about this. Uh, we'll talk about everything and then we'll get on to making a game. Cool. All right. All right, cool. All right, so last or yesterday we made this game and we this game was well here why don't I just play it now we came up with a name of this here and we're gonna start off with this and uh, <laughs> which I think is pretty awesome like, uh, game name and go into Google Translate and translate it to something else a lot of different languages anyway so one thing that's um, obviously this one particular character is not in the the font here so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna get rid of that chances are you won't be able to do it anyway with um, um, that character you'll not be able to upload it to the App Store surprisingly I had a problem the other day um, and actually was with Remember Lights Out. Uh, Xcode didn't like the comma. Okay. So, uh, that's basically something you have to keep in mind always when you're developing. It makes sense to us, but um, we're, we're also gonna make a different title screen um, this is obviously the Pluvo one, so we're going to do that here. Speaking of which, if you haven't ordered uh, Remember Lights Out, please go ahead and do it. Uh, it is a good, it is definitely a good game. Uh, you saw me make it, so um, yeah. Please go ahead and pre-order it as well. Uh, Escape code if you already haven't purchased it. Um, it's also available on Steam. All right, uh, Pluvo, which is... Uh, game similar to this, similar art style, but different mechanics, uh, is also available on the App Store too. Okay. Uh, if you haven't already pledged for this Kickstarter, go ahead and do it. It's one of the best, if not the best, um, uh, game courses we've ever made. Uh, it, I, I'm working with Glauco Perez um, on this, and he's doing a fantastic job as well as Kevin. Um, everything's good at Mammoth love it so uh, we can probably go ahead and continue on straight with the game development um, also uh, please go and subscribe to our patreon I know a dollar a month doesn't seem like a lot to you it does mean a lot to us running a business is difficult so the more patreon uh, support we get the more we can actually do okay so uh, just keep that in mind as well and uh, yeah everything's uh, everything's going pretty good so Next up is where do we leave off here? Okay, yeah. So we we yesterday we left off with this pretty hardcore level, if you remember, and it's it's pretty hard. It's pretty hard, but doable. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's continue this. Okay, so the next logical thing to do would be to add in. Let's just open that up again. The the add in the reveal. All right, so where is that? The reveal is here. And I'm just going to, um, obviously that's on the GUI layer, so let's unhide that and let's put that on the player layer. All right. And so, The other thing we can do is we can kind of show people how to well how this reveal is going to work. So I'm going to do that right now, 
and it's going to be a fairly basic level. Um, but one thing is we want to put the is hidden on on that here. And we'll hop into the tile layer here. And let's, uh, <laughs> don't need to open up the trash there, but uh, nevertheless, let's go ahead and, yeah, look at that. We can always zoom up. Pretty good. Um, let's see. What do we want to do here? Well, we want to, we could probably put that here, put that here, and you know, we'll, we'll deal with that for now. All right. So the tile map in this is kind of difficult to edit, but it doesn't matter. So we'll do that. And then we will do that. So it's kind of like planning ahead. Now, whenever you introduce a new concept, right, you, you, sh you shouldn't introduce too many new concepts at once. And a lot of people, um, you know, within the education realm, kind of understand this. Okay, so let's, let's run this here. And, you know, sometimes, all right, so, right. Okay, so obviously well-intentioned, but we're gonna need to just move that up one here. And, hmm, it's not a bad idea, actually. So, there's no reason why we can't get artistic with this. None whatsoever. Like, look at that. Perfect. Kind of misdirection, but sure enough, it works. It implies you can go down there, but obviously you can't. So, oh yes. And there is that issue, I didn't really work on this much between yesterday and today, so there's that issue of starting on the ground. Um, I mean, this is pretty simple, right? And we just have to go back down. And you kinda gotta do it the other way too. So that's interesting. So in this, we're going to be switching a lot. That works. That works out really well. So by doing that, um, it does make the reveal. Well, it makes the reveal to be pretty. Um, uh, makes the reveal work. Okay. So like I was trying to say before. Also, as much as I like to, uh, it's sometimes difficult to hold on a conversation while I'm doing the programming. So if I stop speaking, uh, it's because I'm concentrating. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's see what we can do with something cool and a reveal. So maybe we'll start up top here. And move the reveal up and over. Yeah, I think that probably works out. And, okay. I got an idea. Hmm. It's not a bad idea, actually. So let's uh, let's go back here. And what we're gonna do is we are going to start off like that. And. We're going to put the door right here. And don't worry, we'll uh, add the reveal in just a moment, which we're getting pretty close to this here. So one, two, yeah, okay. Now we kind of have to make this a little bit more challenging. 
but how do we do that? All right, so let's add in the reveal. Put that down here. We'll explore with the we'll explore the idea of putting it down there. All right. That's barely possible. Ah, uh, okay. So this somehow worked out. Right? I like it so far. I like it. And then, you know, what's preventing you from just running through here? I think we need some spikes. Of some kind. So we want the person to go do that. We want the person to to go do that instead of just running across there. And what we want to also do is prevent the person from just doing this. Okay. So I've got an idea. So it requires adding in a new, something new here, which I am definitely all for. And let's just do what I want to do first, and then move forward. <laughs> Not that, but we'll move forward here. Okay. So what this requires is a new sprite of some kind, and we'll make the sprite. 16 by 16 um, and basically if I go to the one here so we'll make it two well, let's see we'll, we'll, we'll draw this with a line um, and the reason why I'm drawing it with a line is because it's just a little bit faster. I just got to make sure we get everything right here. Yeah, there we go. And the line, let's see. Um, what I'm simply going to do is just copy and paste that. And is there a way to rotate this? No, that's just redo. I think that's just the whole image, yeah. So either way, let's just draw it in. I believe that's the middle. Yeah, that's about the middle here. So it's basically a mine. Now, what I'm doing here is something really. Will that work? So, because a lot of everything in here is so geometric, it makes sense to copy that geometric look. But you want to destroy some of that geometric look as well. Okay, yeah, you know what? I I liked it like that. Okay. And that actually looks pretty good for a mine. We kind of know what's going on here. If we really wanted to, we could kind of, you know, well, I mean, we can always experiment. Um, whenever you're making games, you always want to experiment as much as you humanly can. So, yeah, see, that does look a bit better. And while we're at it, we could probably even just do this. Or... Mm. Yeah, kind of like that. So you can see this is making it look a bit more edged. And that idea that I literally just had a few moments ago, we can kind of uh, 
use it again. And yeah. Okay, yeah, there we go. It's looking good. Let's call that, and that, yeah, this is exactly what I'm looking for, actually. Now, the question is whether we want this to be white or dark. Hmm. It's a good question, actually. Very, very good question. Anyway, well, we'll call this mine. Uh, I think we'll make it, hmm, I think we'll make it white, actually, because that way you can use it anywhere. So I believe the white in this game is 250 by 250 by 250. And then I think we can get away with just the fill. Yeah, perfect. In fact, we could probably even do both here, but uh, let's see. Yeah, that's what's looking pretty good. And that way, it's everywhere, okay? So we need to add in a couple things here. And an event sheet, we'll call this mine logic. And we'll say if player is overlapping the object of mine, then we'll set player boolean to, and this is how fast I go, by the way, uh, is dead to true. Right, and then that sets everything up. And I think that should work. Okay, let's go back here. We'll close this. Oh, yeah. I always forget. Mind logic. Let's go back here and we will just do that. So that way, there's no way you can get over that. And I actually kind of like the look of that. Perfect. Let's go to our text logic here and we'll say this is. Layout number 11, do not touch the mines. So we're going to say, do not touch the mines. As if, I mean, you can always do trial and error, but a text message is not necessarily bad. Now, the other thing is when it comes to localization, okay, let's just see if this works. Yeah, okay, perfect. I like it. When it comes to localization, so we can. We can do that here. And what this is going to do is it forces us to not go down that way. Okay, so what it does, it forces us to uh, go up here. And there we go. And then this is all good. Ah, so close. Okay, so obviously at that point, we can make it. So there we go. That's a great level here. Now, if we want to take it one step further, okay, mm, like that here, and like that. The question is, is do you think that this does not look good on its own? Well, hmm, kind of a tough question. I kind of don't like it to be like that. So if we move it up, obviously, that's no good. So if we go back in here and we make it 8 by 8, then we can make it a little bit better. And I think that does look a bit better. Now, if we really wanted to, we could animate those mines. But yeah, OK, so the mines, you know, there's no way you're going to get to it. You have to go down that way. Perfect. Okay, so that's good. Okay, a couple things. Let's go to our template here and let's do two things. Number one, let's make it eight by eight. And let's bring out a mine here. Just drag it up somewhere. Let's do that with the other template just so that we are, we are consistent. Believe it or not, little things like that really do matter in game development. You'd be surprised, actually, um, how often that does and can uh, derail a lot of projects here. And it's very easy for your project to completely get derailed. So, y you know, it's why I like releasing them. Oh, sorry, I <laughs> release games altogether. Uh, you, you think that's uh, kind of silly, um, but for the most part, um, yeah. Okay. Look at this. I got some um, chat here. Uh, Louise 
Uh, Burbell says hello, or I think that's hello. Anyway, hello. Thanks for coming to the coming to the chat here. All right. Uh, so there we go. That's <laughs> two levels so far. All right. Let's let's duplicate that. Twelve. We'll see how many we get done today. Um, and then once I figure out all the bugs, I'll upload this to the the app store here. And yeah. Oh, another thing. As you can see, my battery runs out real fast. So <laughs> since this is a live stream, I don't want it want it to run out. Um, but anyway, gotta put that in here. Sometimes um, you have to show the percentage to actually get it to work. <laughs> anyway, okay. I got the mines. Um, that was actually really neat. So mm, let's uh, by adding in that mine, we we now have this other obstacle, which I think is a great obstacle. So actually, we can we can do something like that. There's no reason to go below there. So anyway, let's test out this idea first and then we'll see if it works. So, so obviously you can't go through it. So you gotta go above it. Right? And you can't go through that, so you gotta go below it. Okay. And then we might actually even somehow copy this. So you gotta go above it. And let's take a look here. And what we'll do is we'll move that up like that. And kind of do the exact same thing. Yeah, okay, let's let's test this first and then we'll move on. Alright, so up and then up and over. Oh yeah. Hmm. Can we do it? Hmm. Just no. So close. But not exactly what I'm looking for. Alright, so let's take a look. Yep. Perfect. And then let's go down to the other one. Okay, that's probably good enough. So I'm thinking. We have this one layer here, like this. Obviously, we got to move this guy down here. Let's see. And what I'm going to actually do is. Okay, so it is on that layer. Is literally just copy this. Move it up here. Yeah, okay. There we go. All right, we'll, we'll test that and see how it goes. <laughs> it also helps you're good at your own game. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's try that again. 
I'd say, I'd, surprisingly, this is a level. Now, what's interesting is I probably wouldn't have thought about these these mines. All right, let me go under. Let me go over. And then, okay, so obviously now what? <laughs> well, anyway, let's put the door here, of course, and let's put the reveal here. Now. Like I said, um, I probably wouldn't have thought of the reveal or the, the mines yesterday. And one of the things that makes game development good uh, that you probably don't know is simply just time. Because what happens when you're creative, you know, like lots of people say they have like the best ideas when they're in the shower or something like that. And it's true because your mind isn't thinking about the problem. Uh, and as a creative person, and by the way, I fully say that programming is a creative endeavor. A lot of people don't think of it that way, but it is. Yeah, okay, perfect. So there we go. Um, what, what was that? Okay, well, obviously that's Make that 13. Duplicate that. Let's go back to 12. Um, so, you know, since programming is a creative endeavor, um, I always think that um, you have some of your best ideas not um, while you're working on it. So, anyway. Cool. So, uh, let me know what you want. In these live streams, by the way, just post them in the comments. We'd like to know. So, hmm. Okay. So we now have. I kind of like the. I like the idea of these mines here. So let's start off. Maybe we'll do kind of something in reverse what we did yesterday. All right. So we got the mines. We'll start off here. And. Who knows? What will happen? I kind of like this idea. And yeah, we'll make it kind of like the reverse of yesterday. So we'll fall down. And we'll do that here. Yeah, okay. That works. Let's test one thing out at a time. First, so that and that. Okay. Yeah, I think that works. Put the door up here, make it hidden. And then we'll put the reveal somewhere. Yeah, I like that. Hmm. Well, almost. Like, I instantly know this isn't going to work because of that, but you can always fix that. Now, if we really wanted to, we could have, like, there we go. See, we just make it underneath there. Like, if I zoom in, right, if I just kind of move over, and I zoom in all the way, like, I mean, technically, we're almost touching that, but we're not touching it, right? And, you know, like I said, we could probably make different, um, uh, we could probably make different sizes or different like graphics for these, but I'm I'm good right now. We'll start here. Okay, so obviously we got this. 
and then plus this we're going to right, so we go down then we're gonna let's see I think we can actually just jump over that let's just double check right so yeah okay so obviously we could put it in as like a, a red herring but I don't want to do that I think we can also jump over that too let's take a look mm, I think we can barely jump over that yeah well I think we can jump over it but not with the roof there plus the the bounding box on this is square so some people might find that bit cheap but you know there is actually you, you can technically jump over that but it's really really difficult so I'm just gonna leave it in there actually all right so let's do that again and oh we can rotate them oh that's so cool So I love, you know, just like I was saying yesterday, when you when you work on creative projects, the more ideas you get. So what just happened here? All right, and let's do this one more time like that. And then I'm, I'm just gonna show you what happened and then we'll go from there. Okay, so what just happened is I selected both of these and watch this. I kind of just randomly rotated them. Now that kind of looks better. I, don't, I, I think it kind of looks a little bit better. So, And it's a very simple idea on why that works. Okay, so I'm going to, um, can I rotate this? Well, obviously not rotate it. Um, is there a way to rotate this? Not. Press Control R. Hmm. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to go back to the mind logic. Hmm. There's probably a way to do it, but I don't feel like going in the manual and figuring it out. So. Mine, actually, we can do two things here. Mine on created. Let's do an experiment. So we'll say uh, mine um, angle. Okay, set the angle to degrees random. We'll say between zero and well, 359, because 360 is technically the same um, as zero. And that's not what we want here. So we want set angle. Yeah, look at that. That's weird. Yeah, I didn't have to type it in. So mm, it gives it more of a disjunct look. But in a game that's kind of quote unquote somewhat perfect, it's not bad here. Also, uh huh. Look at that. The functionality doesn't work here. So this would be a good example of putting aesthetics over gameplay. So let's take a look. Let's go to mine. Hmm, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so basically, let's just forget about that for now. The neat idea, we'll maybe tackle it later. But um, nevertheless, let's finish up this level. So, oh yeah, that's right, we can't do that. So we gotta delete that. The point is is okay. Okay, I see what the problem was. Alright, so we're gonna have to delete a layer at the top. Hmm, look at that. There's a, there's a layer there. 
that serendipitous, serendipitously works out. I like to have a border in this game just because of the scaling. All right, let's try it again. So we can jump over it. All right, perfect. Can we jump over this? Barely. Can we actually do it though? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm gonna say no. It's too difficult, but anyway, perfect. And then we're gonna do the same thing. We need, um, yeah, we need something here. But, we don't need to do that yet. Uh, let's hop back in here. And what we'll do is we will, let's see, these kind of, no, they actually work the same. Okay. So we'll make it actually pretty close here. Because either way, we get, we, you have to retrieve it. Just to kind of make things a little bit more interesting, we'll do that. While we're here, let's add in. No, it's not on this layer here. We need to add it in on the other one. Okay, perfect. All right, let's take a look at this. <coughs> yep. Simple enough. And we can get back up here. Perfect. And technically, what we can do is, well, we should probably close that off. Yeah. Yeah, okay, look at that. Which one are we on here? Yeah, we are on that one. Okay, perfect. Okay, there we go. Wait, we it's we force us to go down there. So it's not a bad level actually. That's tricky. So let's see if we can actually get it. Now, this is this game since yeah, hmm. Ooh. It's tricky, but not undoable. Okay, so like, you could just do that, right? Ah, but then there's that problem. Okay, I get it. What we'll do is we'll just do this. So, since this is technically a very basic puzzle platformer, right, you can just undo that there. And you can just jump over. I don't think that diminishes anything. Okay, so let's test this here. See if we can just get back. And I think we can, but before we do that, let's... Um, let's go back, add in some tiles here, and that's all we'll do is we'll add in a tile up there. Okay, so let's, let's do this here. So, boom. Yeah, okay, so this, so I mean, that works. And then, so we don't even need to do that, so. And then obviously we can get back. Okay, perfect. Good. So that's starting to look pretty good. Now notice how there's actually a bunch of extra functionality that we haven't even um, haven't even done yet. So uh, I think you know, unfortunately, we only have time for maybe one or two more levels, uh, just because um, 
because I do have some other business to attend to before I leave today. Um, oh, look at that. Um, Blake says hi. Well, hi, Blake. Thank you for showing up. Um, yeah, okay. Hmm, yeah. So what can we do next? We haven't done anything with spikes in a while, but these mines are kind of interesting. So, so I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of figure out everything to do with these mines um, before I, I get tired of them. So, yeah, let's. Okay, I, I got an idea. So we haven't really we haven't really played with the vertical here. Now the other thing that's really interesting about this game is the idea that it's only one screen. Right, like think about it. I can make this two screens. Like even if I made this just two screens, it would it would almost be a, like a different game. So let's let's deal with this here. So first things first is let's let's. I'm just gonna get rid of this bottom layer and this side layer here, just because it's kind of been our default, and I don't want it to be our default. So we'll we'll get um, there. We go. Perfect. Okay. Um, let's see. What we do want, however, is we do want to start off with this one so that we don't. Um, okay, so we'll start off with that. And of course, we will block the player in because we're like that as developers. So. The idea is, hmm, I wonder if I can do that. Oh, I can totally do that. Oh man, that's a good idea. But, but can I actually do it though? Or can I do it the other way? Yeah. See if, yeah, if it was one down, we could do it. So let's do that. Let's move it literally one down so let's hide that for the moment here move that one down and while we're here we'll kind of clean up this bottom here okay I like that I like that a lot actually there we go. So now what's interesting is that on a one pixel basis, it actually pushes up the, the player. So keep that in mind, right? So this might take a couple times because you can see that, you know, will work like that. You know, the player will have to be pretty, pretty in, into changing that. So, okay, so and then what do we want to do after that? Well, hmm, okay. So I'm actually thinking we even do this one more. Yeah, that's probably a good idea, but I want to make sure everything is flush here. And then we can add some more mines. And what's interesting is you shouldn't even move the, the first <laughs> bit here. Yeah, so it, it's tricky. Like, I'm not even going to to um, sugarcoat that. So we found that we can do it. So let's just move the player down here. Okay, and then I should probably... What would be interesting if there was a cycle of three. So that may be another game after this one. We'll have three platforms, and one will go invisible or something like that. We'll have to test that. But you can see what I mean, and CGP Gray is totally right on this. More, more works equals less writer's block. I always found it weird that people have writer's block at the beginning, but you know, the more you do, the more you should have. All right, so let's take a look here. Hmm. So if we're gonna do that, let's 
Let's do that. Okay, well, obviously we need to Alright, so So we got like that. Can we actually make it? We cannot. That's fortuitous. Cause watch what I get to do. So we'll just do that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And when we go do this one. See, just kind of take one. Actually, we should probably delete it all together. Well, do we need to delete it all together? Yeah, I think we do need to delete it all together. That one and that one. And then while we're here, I think we need to delete that off the top too. So let's try that again. So. Yeah. Or. Let's see. Well, if we can't make that, then maybe we should use this space. Right? So going back to that point I made a little a few minutes ago about how this is only a one page game or like a one window game, that's actually quite interesting when you think about it. We want this one. So hmm. you want to move it up here. Here. Yeah, I like that. Okay, I like it a lot. Okay. So, no, that's not going to work, or is it? Yeah, I think that might work. Let's test it out. Now, obviously, the other thing that you would want to do if you were to, you know, kind of make this game here, and we'd have the reveal there. Okay. But of course, where's the door going to be if we reveal it there? So, yeah, it's a good place for the door. And the reveal is going to be here. And while we're at it, I think I don't really need to test this now. The only thing I do need to, yeah, no, I don't need to test this because, yeah, everything else should work out perfect. All right. Yes, so one more, and I think that's it for today. Although, you know, I'm actually really enjoying these live casts. So for those of you who do watch, thank you for watching. Um, but I want to do them more. I just have to be able to find the time to do them more. So, yeah, that's 49 minutes. Um, it's almost a whole hour. I'd like to do these more for two hours, but uh, nevertheless, uh, before we move on here, let's do a couple of things. Let's save as. And remember, the reason why I do uh, these games, uh, or I save the way I do, is because um, uh, is because sometimes your project can get corrupted. I've had this happen on literally every single platform that I've worked on. Nobody is immune from this. Not Skira, not everyone, not anyone. I've had it work, happen on so many different kinds of, um, of platforms. 
So, huh. What should we do? So we have one where we're falling here, so. I will, you know, as a cheap one, you could just kind of do this. Ah, that's kind of teasing, but you can tease it. All right, now let's just make sure I got that right. Right, <laughs> like, yeah, okay. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, I think I might leave that. Hmm. So what should I do here? Well, let's... Which one is this? Okay, it's not the right one. Or, you know what? No, we'll do that. And... No, that's not going to work. All right. Let's go back to this one here. And let's see. Hmm. Okay. No, let's let's do that. And then within that box we will do hmm. Put those mines there. So th this is obviously interesting, you know, and again, I'd like to reiterate that I'd make this stuff up on the spot. And, you know, a lot of people wouldn't do level design on the spot uh, and game program on the spot. I think that's kind of awesome. I've been working up for a long time uh, for this, by the way. Uh, this wasn't just some random thing that I started doing one day. Um, I've been really looking forward to how this works. Um, specifically you know how um, this kind of game to, how to do this kind of game design so um, because of this uh, let's just that yeah okay I see yeah we'll just leave it like that for now hmm no, it's a bit sloppy, so let's let's do that here and then let's erase this things properly. So like I said, I've been wanting to do this for a long humanly long time. So let's run this and see where we're at. Okay, so if we run that then no good. then we got to do that here. So what needs to happen next is a series. All right, now I, I think I know what I want to do. Uh, so let's put that back up. Okay, let's put this up here. Yeah, is that gonna be too much? I can't remember. I think we can just barely make that. Yeah, we can. Okay, perfect. So, and then, yeah. So, like, in theory, like, a really good gamer could, in theory, kind of squeeze in there. Although, it's all, it's almost too pixel perfect to make it actually work. So, what we're going to do instead is we're going to do this. Okay. Yeah, so let's, I really like this block look. By the way, I think it works out really well. It makes sense. So this is not gonna be too hard. It gets a little bit harder up at the top here, but then what do I wanna do here? Okay, I think I got an idea. But let's just double test this first and then I'll test out my idea. So up, up, up. Oh. 
<laughs> okay. Up, 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 up. Okay, so we can do that. Then what we need to do is literally drop down like that. That's the idea. So first things first is we will just, you know, you definitely can't go there. Second thing is we're going to, to add in some of the mines to this. Okay, so what am I going to do here? So we have to, and I think we have to literally drag these up here like this. Because otherwise you'll just be able to just kind of move down, like kind of just go down. So let's, let's do that here. Okay. So let's double check all of this here. And we're close, and then we're even closer here. Perfect. Then I'm going to make that a lot more interesting. But, you know, some of you are already thinking, um, Andrea, hi. Andrea, you've been here. Thanks for showing up to more than one of my live streams. <laughs> All right. There we go. Yeah, okay. So, um, yeah, thank you, Andrea, for showing up to more than one of my live streams. I do appreciate it. You have no idea how much I appreciate it. All right. Obviously, this is on the wrong one. <laughs> so let's fix that. All right, so. Yeah. Perfect. And. Okay. We'll simply just do that. Okay, let's try that again. And right, and then perfect. Okay. So what I'm going to do is two things here. Number one, I'm going to make this a little bit more artistic. Okay. And you know, see, doesn't have to be, doesn't have to be, you know, fancy. It just has to be different, right? You can see that we're just going to kind of move these around, shape them up in some way, shape, or form here. And Basically, we have like this minefield that we have to get across. And, you know, it kind of looks like a scatter point <laughs> graph going up. I'm fine with that. Right, so move this guy up. Okay. Perfect. Thank you for buying my courses, Andrea. Which one's your favorite so far? We're gonna... So we need to click on the tile map here and we're just going to delete that. And I think that should be it. though. We're so close. 
just putting in that extra bit of finesse will make this a lot better. Yep. Okay, perfect. That's all we really need to do. So let's do this one more time and get the idea. Perfect. So this game is tricky. One of the things that I'm gonna that you're really gonna have to do that literally everyone does. If you're making a game that's cross-platform, is you have to make sure the controls are super tight on all the platforms. Okay. Yeah, okay, so close. Yeah, it's so far. And that just looks silly. All right, so. Sweet. Thank you so much, Andrea, for buying my courses. We're always producing new courses. Um, basically, you know, if you don't know the story of Mammoth Interactive, is that I needed to, you know, if I wanted to make a, you know, back in 2010, I made an Xbox 360 game, and I wanted to to do uh, to make it, but. There was no courses available, so I bought this DVD set, and that DVD set um, uh, basically helped me propel my career to new levels. And of course, this is, you know, peak recession. Like things didn't start really getting better till 2011. It's crazy because that's when I started on Udemy, and you know, and then I started getting all these job offers from like jobs I would have killed for like, you know, 2008, 2009, but you know, the economy, et cetera. Um, and so, um, and so I bought the course, I literally put out an Xbox 360 game and it was way harder. Putting out the Xbox 360 game was way harder than any game development today. Like you couldn't use Unity. There was the engine I used was the Torque X engine and it was, it was okay, but it wasn't wasn't amazing. Uh, it's definitely nowhere near like Unity or anything like that. So um, um, anyway, so I put it out and then I made like five more Xbox games, but none of them came out due to just reasons. <laughs> and uh, you know, I I tell people about that and like you know, don't do this because you, your game might not come out. So. Anyway, um, I could talk more about that, but unfortunately, I do have to go now. Um, I'm the, around 1 p.m. is when I will do these live streams. I'll do them Wednesday for sure, and if I have the time, I'll try to do them Tuesday and Thursday as well. So that's the time I'm going to do these live streams here. Of course, you can find all the courses below. If you haven't already pre-ordered, please pre-order and. Um, and that's, you know, frankly, buying these games is one of the best ways you can support Mammoth Interactive. If you're really into what we do, uh, you can just buy our courses or go into Patreon as well. A dollar a month does make a huge difference to us, um, especially once we get up to critical mass, it, it will. It will really work here. And if you haven't already, this Fortnite Kickstarter is going to be great. So it's thanks to people like Andrea that, you know, keep us in business and you know allow us to build these these courses and and we do get a lot of really awesome feedback for our courses like uh for instance we've gotten anywhere from you know parents that have, have children with um uh with learning disabilities say they really like our courses uh we've also had you know literally everyone from all walks of life you know they they like what we do and we love what we do here you know um I, i'm trying to build this business in a very sustainable way and we're we're doing a really good job of it so there's always cool stuff happening at, at mammoth but um but you know we've had kids parents with kids with learning disabilities say they love our courses and we've also had parents you know saying they put their kids in it and we've also had people you know as young as 92 um take our courses and enjoy it so uh, I'm glad to be able to produce such a influential product anyway this this Kickstarter here this one's gonna be amazing it's gonna be the, by far the best one we've ever done all right anyway 
thank you so much for listening. Um, I hope to see you in another live stream soon. Be sure to save all your projects, all right? And until next time, uh, see, you, see you in the next tutorial.